I'm gonna touch uh, a sensitive subject for uh, crybaby gamers because you know microtransactions. Yes, you know it's it's not a great thing for games. You know that 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 type of thing should stay in, on phones for mobile games and all that stuff. Not on consoles, but you need to understand these. You know it's a business. They need to make money, and it's extremely successful. Especially Grand Theft Auto Five. People just they just spend so much money on that game, and Take Two is just making millions and millions of dollars. So, by the end of the day, it's up to the consumer if you want to buy it or you don't want to buy it. You know, Star Wars Battlefront Two is a great game in my opinion. It's very fun. Yet there is an issue behind it because you have to grind in order to get the credits to buy the cards and the heroes and this and that but isn't that what people want they they want a game with a lot of gameplay depth value a lot of gameplay value because people will bitch and be like well this game doesn't have a lot of gameplay value it feels pretty empty and then you go ahead do something similar to battlefront 2 and it's like this game is grindful it's too much grinding i don't like this so it's like what do you want you know you just you can't get the best of both worlds it is extremely impossible especially a company like ea activision ubisoft they're not going to give you a game that's you know a full complete product there's always going to have to be some bs behind it but it it is up to you the consumer if you want to buy it or not it's like who cares dude you know what instead of sitting on the computer all day crying like a little baby that you are dude just just don't buy the game why, why are you discussing it it's like you know you're not gonna buy it, so why waste your time and say oh my god it has this it's like dude shut up just shut up who care i don't care about your opinion it is pointless as hell if you have the money buy it if you don't have the money don't buy it and if you do have the money and you're complaining about this stuff, then you know what? Buy something else and shut up already. Keep yourself distracted by playing something else. So I said, you know, maybe you enjoy playing video games and bitch and moan. That's something cool to complain about because it is a fad. And it's true, it is a fad. Idiots of today enjoy riding the ba that bandwagon greatly. You know, this is a bandwagon now. Everyone's like, yeah, I hate EA too. Yeah, I hate it. You know, monkey see, monkey do. This is a monkey see, monkey do situation nowadays. One person jumps on one thing and the other person wants to do it. Someone eats a turd. They're pretty curious. They want to eat a turd too. Nothing is original. Everyone's just a follower in my opinion. Good for them for giving it good reviews. Battlefront 2 is a great game and by the way this is an article on uh, Famatsu a Japanese popular Japanese uh, reviewing uh, magazine or whatever and they gave Battlefront 2 a pretty good review a 32 out of uh, 40 I believe you know it's tons of fun it's just overshadowed with the BS and snowflake crybaby gamers which is true because the community is full of them and then this guy responds so f uh, snowflake for not well, you can't spell. I forgot to uh, correct him. Let, let's go ahead and correct him just to uh, annoy him. Okay. Wanting. Okay. There we go. We got this. All right. Wanting your time or money wasted. If people didn't complain, the grind would be worse than both Need for Speed and Battlefront. That is a fact. Well, if you bought the game, you know what you're going to get yourself into. You shouldn't be complaining, period. Look, people complain about games not having gameplay value, like I mentioned earlier. Then gets it and complains it is a grind. It's a cycle that never ends, and it is true. It is a cycle that never ends. You know, there's the pros and the cons, but it is a cycle that never ends. But yes, Snowflake, you are. Let's go to, let's go to uh, Sean Patterson. He looks like a Nintendo fanboy, by the way. Look at this guy. Beautiful guy, by the way. I didn't know I was a snowflake crybaby gamer because I don't agree with the idea of ripping co of, uh, consumers and giving them half the game for the full $60 price tag. Huh? Well, you know, Battlefront 2 is actually complete, really. You just have to buy the cards, but you can't unlock the cards. Like I said, you have to grind through it to get some credits and get the loots, and that's that. You know, it's similar to a mobile game, but at the same time, you're getting a lot of modes in that game. And I'm, you know, I'm not trying to defend Battlefront 2, but still, 
it's just overshadowed with the BS. Just because a microtransaction makes it a bad game, come on. You know, it's, you gotta have some common sense there. But it's shallow and it's a part of terrible business prices that should not be praised or ignored. Oh, well, now I know you are. Thanks for letting us know, Sean. <laughs> you jerk off. Alright, what about this guy? I, I didn't realize that ripping people off was cool. Then again, it, this isn't a first from this, so maybe you are right. I don't know why people are complaining now. Complaining, gotta autocorrect that. You gotta pay attention to what you're writing, fellas. Please. Maybe they enjoy video games, then bitch and moan. Look, I think gamers like enjoying bitching and moaning more than they do when they're playing games. They like to complain and cry. That's, that's all you see nowadays. It's like, why waste your time in the comment section? I even ask myself, why am I wasting my time in these comics comment sections with all these idiots? It's just a bunch of crybabies. I just don't understand. This guy's complaining about the Need for Speed loot boxes, which they updated. They've already fixed this a couple of days ago. You know, Forza has a sort of similar uh, system as this, you know? You have Gran Turismo that came out incomplete. It is literally a $60 demo. So you're pretty much paying, you're buying a game that's going to have future free updates. So it's pretty much telling you that, okay, you should just wait and buy our game in like six or seven months. That's where it's, it's going to be kind of more complete than it already it is now. I don't see nobody bitching about that. This is just a fad. This is just a bandwagon. Every time it is something, you know, it's, if it's EA, it's always a problem. Always bitching and moaning. Copcom is similar with a with with a fad and bandwagon of hate as well. Activision already has uh, microtransactions for Call of Duty, and everyone's like, okay, yeah, well, that was expected. That's okay though. That's no big deal because it's Call of Duty, right? Nah, it's alright. It's cool. Whatever, so, you know, I'm not trying to defend this, you know, what I'm trying to say is, if you want to buy it, buy it, if you don't want to buy it and you're bitching and moaning, alright, good for you, then shut up, D don't buy it, don't get involved, because you know what, you're not buying the product, so who cares, and if you bought the product and you didn't expect any of this, well, that's your fault, because you have to do research on a lot of these games before you buy anything. You know, sometimes you learn the hard way, and that's that's just how it is. Look, you bought the product, maybe you got a good chance to returning it, or trading in and get most of your value back, or and buy something else. I don't know, but uh, I don't know, man. It's 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 the pros and the cons. It's a cycle that never ends. At the end of the day, it is a business, and that's that. And yes, EA is really messed up. They messed up, but you know what? They're trying to fix it. They're trying to get their shit together little by little, but... You know, the damage is already done. But I'm having a blast with Battlefront 2. It's, it's fun. Play with friends, it's even more fun. You know, it's just overshadowed with the BS. And it's way better than the first one. That first one was definitely incomplete. That was absolute garbage of a game but the second one is such a huge improvement it gave the cam it has a campaign it has everything multiplayer arcade mode single player stuff everything and yet you know it's overshadowed because of these people who are just crying and bitching and moaning because they have nothing better to do and you know what i have to say whatever makes you sleep at night whatever makes you sleep at night so uh you might not like this video but it is what it is Thanks for watching. Drop a dislike. Drop a comment. Tell me how much you hate me.